what's up guys i am hp videos giving you a full review of bliss pop rom on my you eureka plus so many of you guys are thinking that on you eureka plus the bliss pop doesn't come out for officially come out for you you eureka plus but you can flash you eureka a rom of on you eureka plus bliss pop rom only because if you are uh, trying to flash mius 7 on you eureka plus it the device will go into boot loop so let me show you guys guys first i will go into the setting and and confirm it is that bliss pop rom is actually running on my device so here we go into about phone and here it is device model number a05510 android version 5.1.1 bliss version 3.9 and bliss build so this is bliss pop rom version 3.9 tomato that is you eureka not you eureka plus but the which device is you eureka plus and i'm using the razer reborn kernel uh, i will show you later uh, that why razer reborn is good on the official stock kernel because the stock kernel tends to get heat up that's a major problem so let's not talk about that we are currently talking about the rom plus pop rom what are the features why it is good good over stock android because on the stock rom you have tend to get have problem with the dialer but the dialer here works perfectly if fine so this is this is the dialer dialer works perfectly fine so that's it so if you are calling the dialer screen just wipes off the screen and you get home screen and your call is continued and you can't even cut the call so that problem is removed in this this rom so that is the best feature of this rom because we are getting some major issues on you eureka plus on the dialer side so what are the features extra features that you get with this rom so first is the bliss interface so bliss interface is like whole new customization for you guys it's exposed module different kind of modules in build inside the rom like display and animation so let me give you some something about this i am e animations so this is the about how your keyboard is going to appear on the screen so i have changed the enter animation to slide in from the bottom and enter for later that is anticipated and overshoot so here you go it's just slide in from the bottom you can uh, test out the speed different speeds for you this is some fastest i like this slowest one because it's good so here i can deaccelerate the interpol collator so the test animation okay and it's slowly coming in so it's a good tweak it look good feels good there are different more features on this over scrolling effect toast animation list and anim list view animation system animation scroll cache scroll modifier identity icons and toast icons toast icons is when some toast appear on the screen the toast is of which app the app icon also appears the floating window the floating window is good for who like to do who chatting much because not everyone gets a messenger pop up like whatsapp when whatsapp message come over you, you can just scroll and touch the screen I like I'm here doing in screen recorder pro. Here is the floating window icon. So if you guys touch uh, long press that icon, it will just appear a floating window over here. Somewhere in the center of the screen. So you can see the content behind it and also actually use the app, the floated floated app. So this is the float win uh, floating window for you. So this floating uh, floating window also appears us with circle app bar app slide bar gesture anyway this this all the setting you have to first enable while using the navigation options so navigation options are very much very much customizable so first is the button option which is the basic hardware buttons hardware button what you want to do if you tap it or double tap it or long press it so it's a basic customizing the here is the major customization enable navigation bar so here you can do the major navigations you can change the on screen keyboard swap them customize the buttons like you don't want your recent uh, button to there so you can change it 
and it just swap it out so it's good but i'm not the guy who uses on screen buttons so i really does not like like on screen button because it tends to use up the screen space so let's go back and let's see app circle bar so app circle bar is like a circle a you know a wheel containing the apps So here you go. Wheel containing apps. So it looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? Actually, the blue is not. It's transparent when it's on. You can just back it up. And let me guys show you one more time. See, it's quite nice when you look at it. App circle bar. Let's switch it off and see app bar. So here go app bar enabled back. I'm just gonna back a little and see. This is the app bar here. I got Facebook, Clash of Clans, Page Manager, Messenger, Quick Picks, etc., etc. So app circle bar and app bar both works simultaneously if you want. Here you go. Both working simultaneously. Here is app circle bar. When you back it up, and here it is the app bar. So gesture anywhere is the same thing. This kind of gesture anywhere we you wait a minute. This it's overlapping on the app circle bar. Let me switch off the app circle bar. And also the app bar. So app bar. So here you can go inside the app bar. You get a uh, different options. So where we are we? We are in the gesture anywhere. So in the gesture anywhere, you can slide it from the left, and you get uh, a screen where you can and install the this gestures. Different gesture can start different apps. So gesture anywhere and slim pie. Slim pie basically I use it. but because it's the best thing out there here you go this is pretty much customizable slim pi so let's get back this is navigation option then there is lock screen option you can hide your carrier long press to sleep sleep again on the from the lock screen you have don't have to press the up power button and many other option heads up is an a heads up notification which is mostly already there in the uh, lollipop so you know notifications are there you can change the recent and when you know, omni switch is there but basically we don't need omni switch smart controls you can go in the recent and check the device to clear the recents and let's go next status bar there is the status bar you can change how your status bar look like i have centralized the clock here clock is coming on the center and the please download please download is basically the links to their official list pop build nightly builds the google apps which we do require for this the kernels and different things this is the bliss interface it's customizable beyond your dreams it's more customizable than the stock one the dark bliss is basically a dark theme let me show you guys this is the dark theme it pretty much uses less brightness so The battery backup is pretty good on this one. So, and you can get you have the option of Cyanogen theme. And the Cyanogen music player is pretty much in build. Uh, so, let me tell you the Razer Reborn kernel. Why Razer Reborn? Because the stock kernel tends to get heat up pretty much quickly on a daily drive use. So, you have have to flash Razer Reborn kernel to get a fast charging. I I get up to uh, charge up to 50% in 15 minutes. So this is the best feature of Razer Ribbon which I like. And also oh, it tends to get heat uh, heat up less. The kernel auditor is in built in the app which is also plus point of this ROM. So you got performance. The ROM is free rooted so you don't have to flash the super user kernel auditor. Here is the CPU level. Now currently I'm using this setting because the temperature is 51 degrees Celsius. Plus, and it's 
lower to 50 to 45 on my daily drive it's 45 currently i'm recording so device tends to get slightly heated up so i use cpu governance as darkness and this is my settings for little and here i'm also using cpu governance as darkness but you can use interactive so thank you guys if you like it please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any problem with this ROM or if you want me to review any other ROM so please comment below and subscribe and like the video and share in the you share it for the UU Reka community thank you guys